Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Muzzlewood here. And this is an actual request video. It's the first one I've done, but uh, it's to go with my custom breaking Minecraft texture video that I put out. I've had a, a few people now, um, that one person in particular just asked for a bit more of a slower or an easier way to do the the critter stuff. That's the program we'll be using. Um, it's free, open source. Um, there's a lot of help out there, but it, there are a few hidden hidden things that don't pop out straight away, like Photoshop and and things like that. So if you're looking for something for free, it might be a little bit difficult to get your head around. But uh, hopefully we can make this a little bit easier. And I think I've found a better way. Let's start it off. We've got uh, if you've watched the video and now you're watching this, you've got your raw destroy destroy stage textures. We're just going to start by dragging that first one in. There we have it. Now I'm going to do the same gradient that I did in the last one. Remember, this can be anything. It just needs to be ten stages of it. Uh, so do what you want, but I'll just run through exactly the same as what I've been doing in the video up until now. So that's the first texture. We'll leave it there for now. Uh, what we're going to do, we're coming, going to come down here and press the, press the plus button. That's going to add a new layer, layer 2, just popped up there. And we've got a gradient already. I think that's from the video I made last time. Coming back to it a good six months later. Um, now on this layer, we're going to want to select half of the half of the canvas. So it's eight pixels. So what I do is just drag and grab your marquee tool, rectangular selection tool. Just drag across, and we're going to count count down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's our first selection. Now with the gradient tool, when you draw your line, it's going to be inside that selection. If you hold shift, it straightens the line up, only does it 90 degrees, so holding shift is a good thing. Now I'm just going to draw down to there. Just note that, so I brought my cursor right down to that dotted line. So there we have our gradient already. Um, now we now need to do the other side. So instead of selecting by hand, we're just going to go up to the select menu and press invert selection. There we go. So it's swapped over to this side. We're going to do the same. Click down here, holding shift, draw up, let go on the dotted line. Ah, so it's happened. So for me, those two textures right there, they're not the same color. I'm going to control Z, undo that. I might just need to drag it up one further. Let's go again. Just want to get those colors to actually match. One more time and then we'll call it quits. Mm. It's not quite right will it will do let's go deselect there that's our first layer so we're going to um that's our that horizontal gradient going top to bottom or probably top to middle bottom to middle and we're just going to duplicate that layer by pressing this button down here and now we've created a copy of layer two now in the menu up the top, layer, we're going to rotate the layer 90 degrees to the right. There we go. Now we've got our top gradient. So there's the two layers that we've made. I'm going to go ahead and delete this little first layer we put in. That was just to get the, the dimensions of the image. You can do that just by pressing the trash can. Cool. All right. So let's work on the bottom layer first. So we'll do the bottom layer by just clicking the I button. So this is one pixel. We want 
one pixel in from the edge, so we don't need this stuff in the middle here. I'm going to grab our rectangular tool again and just make sure we're one pixel in. So that's one pixel. That's what that kind of looks like. So you can draw that one pixel down the side and then again, so this is making a new selection. One pixel in from that side. Now I've got a selection for the middle. I'm going to go ahead and press delete. And there we have two bits on the side. Now we'll do that same on the top one, but instead of going down the middle like that, we're going to go across. Just want to make sure you're one pixel in from the edge. And there we have our deselect. There's our gradient. Very nice, very nice, and a lot easier than I did it last time. Um, but now these are in two separate layers. We don't want that. So what we're going to do, select the top one and right click on it. We've got a merge with layer below. Click that. Now we've got one layer. Now that's not as many as we need. We need 10, 10 layers. So I'm going to go ahead and press duplicate. So we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Now we've got ten layers of the same thing. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab grab the name and name these guys. Because that's just gonna help with uh, with naming later. As I won't, I won't save them out. But I'll just this is the process before you save it out. So I'll just go through, go through that. My mad fast typing skills. I'm just pasting, pasting that same name in over and over again. Eight. On a one, nine. All right. Okay, so let's start the animation. This is, I guess, the trickiest part. Um, what you want to do? You want to click the eye on everything above layer zero and select that one. Now, for layer zero, we only want one one pixel on the very on the very edges. So, with the marquee tool, sorry, rectangular selection tool, talking Photoshop. Uh, just want to do the same thing we did to delete those bits and uh, make a selection like that. Delete. Now do that top to bottom. Delete. All right, there's our first layer. Now we'll turn the next top layer on and you can see that brings everything back. But you're going to use that to compare to make sure you're just going one one pixel in. Okay, so now the next layer needs to be two pixels. So if you've got a selection left over like this, it's easy because you can just come in, come in like that, delete that. There we go. There. Now we'll go one pixel up on the sides and go across. There we go. That's the next layer in. So what you're going to do is repeat. You can see there we've got a selection left over, so that's that's easy. Come across there, up the top. You can, uh, at this point, I start counting in for the new ones. So we've got one, two, three, all the way down to the bottom. Delete. So yeah, if you scroll off the screen, hand hand tool will move your canvas around. And if you want to do this with a brush, not with the marquee tool, just be, it's a button you have to press and it's got me a couple of times. Just uh, turn on the next layer. And I'll just make a selection like that. If you want to use the brush tool, just notice in Critter there's no erase tool, which I think got someone um, 
a bit muddled up. The erase tool is here. So you have to put it in erase mode. So with that clicked, you've got your eraser set. And now you can go ahead and use your brush to erase. So I'm doing that inside the selection, but uh, if you don't have the selection, you'll be able to erase whatever you want. But for this, for this gradient, it's just easier to do with a selection. Alright, we'll check that one. On, off. On, off. Yep, that's building one more. We just keep doing that. Side. And we're doing four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Delete. Got that wrong. Undo. One too many. That's better. Remember Control Z if you ever have to undo. On the next layer, top to bottom. And, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to say this isn't confusing, so we're going to go one, two, six, draw across, one, two, three, four, five, six. Check that one. Everything's drawing on one. Fantastic. Yeah, this might be a bit boring for some people, but I'm just. Uh, Making sure I'm not skipping anything because I fast forwarded through it last time and it looks like I needed to spend a bit more time on it. It's the last one. We've got three more stages here. Well, I guess this stage is done because that's full. Those two will come on and for the next stages for me, I am going to do a color change. We'll make sure we've got nothing selected. Deselect. You want to go to adjust, view and saturation. I like to change that just to a hue, saturation, and value. We want to pump up the saturation. Give it a bit of lightness. Click OK on that. So that should be changing there. So that's full, dark. And this one should be, let's just try going. That's the same one. And apply again. That's no, not bad. That's up to you. Nearly broken. Nearly there. That'll work. Could do something a little bit better, maybe. Let's um, hit it again so it gives us, keep hitting it. Yeah, great. So that's it. It's now, it's, um, click back to the, click back to the, uh, the main video and I'll show you how to, uh, export it all so that is a little bit easier still the the deleting of each layer i don't at least for this texture i don't think there's a a, a nice way of doing that um or an easier way but definitely the making of the grid has made it a bit easier and hopefully i've talked through the tools that i've used a bit better and you can understand uh both critter and any of the other layer based stuff that you might be using. All right, guys, hope that helped. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.